Welcome to Sage Pastel Payroll's year-end process video. We will be going through all the steps to complete your year-end process and roll over into your new tax year. Ensure that you're on the latest version of Pastel Payroll. Click on Help, About and check what version of Pastel Payroll you're on. Now, open the Download Manager and check what the current version of Pastel Payroll is. If the Download Manager is showing a later update than the one that you have installed, download the latest update and install it before continuing with your year-end process. You can do the year-end process on the update for the new tax year. Run and clear your exception report. The exception report can be generated by navigating to View, Statutory Reports, RP5 slash IT3A exception reports. Filter for all of your employees. Ensure that the print status is set to both. Any non-warning exceptions need to be corrected before you can roll over into the new financial year. Please refer to our knowledge base at sagekb.com and select Sage Pastel Payroll to search for our detailed guides on how to fix most of the exceptions you could expect. Warning exceptions can be left as is and the file won't fail the import. Once all the exceptions have been corrected, you need to finalize the February payslips. You will input your salaries and wages as per usual and then do your payroll run to finalize the payslips. If you have any employees on maternity leave, please reinstate these employees and zero out the payslips Printing your monthly reports. It is important to note that the UIF and the EMP201 reports can't be viewed in the year-end period. The reports can be found in the View menu. The EMP201 report can be found under Statutory Reports, EMP201 and EMP201 Monthly Declaration. The UIF reports can be found under Statutory Reports, UIF and the UIF Return and Electronic Declaration. Roll into the year-end period. Navigate to Process, Pay Period Updates. Click on Next. Making the February backup is one of the most important aspects of the year-end rollover. We advise that you create a new folder to easily locate your February backup for future reference. Creating the copy company and rolling over into the new year. Creating the copy company is another important part of doing your year-end rollover. Navigate to Process and select the year-end update. Make a backup of your year-end period. Click on Copy Company Data and enter the name of your copy company. We advise that you include the characters YE and the last digits of the year to make sure that you can easily locate the copy company from the file open screen. Creating the copy company can take some time. Please do not interrupt the process until it's successfully created. You can tick all three of these options as you have made a backup and the remaining two can be completed in the copy company. Click on the filter screen. It should display terminated employees. You can remove them or keep them as is. If you want to remove these master files, click on delete. Click on next and finish to end your year in process. You will now be in the first period of the new tax year. To locate the copy company, you can click on file open. You will notice the words copy in the name of your copy company. This will illustrate that this is a copy company. When opening this company, you will see that the system tells you it is a copy company and it will be in your year-end period.
When opening your live company, the legislative upgrade message will appear. To remove this message, you will need to update to the latest version and run a legislative release. To get a step-by-step -step guide, click on our link to be redirected to our knowledge base. It will give you a step-by-step -step guidance on your legislative upgrade. Thank you for watching our video.